guys, it's Miss Bree here, and today we're here to talk about the largest rodent in Iowa. It's semi-aquatic, and it's also nocturnal. So you may see evidence of these creatures, uh, but you may not always see them unless if you're out at night. So we are gonna be talking about the beaver. Like I said, it's a semi-aquatic rodent, which means it spends the majority of its time in water. Um, and it also likes to dam up moving waterways and make their dens. We're going to talk about two specific adaptations. We're going to be talking about their tail and their teeth. So we're going to start off talking about their tail. So their tails are wide and flat, but they serve a couple purposes for the beaver. So the tail of the beaver is used for communication, to help move in the water, and to also uh, help in storage of fat. So if you ever see a beaver out and you startle it, he may slap his tail on the water to warn the other beavers in his family that there is a predator or a danger nearby. So sometimes you may see them use their tail and flap it on the water really hard and that's as a warning sign. Another thing that this tail is used for is to store fat. So in the winter months they store fat in their tail and that helps to act as a heater all winter long so that they can stay warm in Iowa's winters. Now I also said it's used in movement in the water. So they use their tail to help move their water, it acts as a rudder. So if they need a turn, they'll move their tail, just like a boat rudder would do. And then they use their webbed feet as a propeller to help them gracefully swim through the water. Another awesome adaptation that beavers have is their teeth. Their teeth continually grow through their whole lifetime, but through gnawing down of trees, they're able to file down their teeth to make sure that they stay manageable. Their teeth are extra strong as well, and they have iron deposits in them to make sure that they can stay strong so that they can be able to knock things down. So these trees right here that you see were actually cut down by a beaver. So these are about, I would say, six inch diameter trees. And a beaver can knock down a tree this size in approximately three to five minutes by just gnawing around it circular. So as you can see, they gnaw around it all the way around it and they keep doing that until it comes to a really fine point and then the tree falls down as you can see right here. Um, so if you ever see this, this is probably the work of a beaver. Sometimes they even leave behind wood chips as you can see like this beaver did. So beavers are really awesome creatures. They help to maintain uh, our ecosystems and they also are very interesting to watch if you ever get the opportunity. Uh, but I just wanted to let you know a couple of their adaptations like their teeth and also why they have this awesome looking tail. So I hope you enjoyed this talk. I hope you're also getting outside. I wanna thank my friends at O'Brien County for maintaining this beautiful area I am in today. Um, it's not only beautiful for people to recreate at, but it's also a wonderful place for our wildlife. Thank you and have a great day.